Hello all, I just wanted to show you briefly this uh, tab or environment called Sketch Ink which is very interesting if you have a pen or stylus that works on your touch uh, laptop or tablet or anything that has SolidWorks if you want to use that to draw a sketch and not use the standard sketch entities then you can use the sketch ink so if you are going to create parts that are more kind of artistic I would say compared to engineering or organic shapes or something this sketch ink for 2D shapes would be really interesting now for 3D organic shapes there is a separate environment called a sculptor that uh, I plan to basically create a video from that soon as well but this is just for 2D so here I go ahead and select a plane let's say the front plane and then I go to sketch then I can choose the color of the pen let's say black is good for now and activate the pen or the stylus now I should be able to what you see here is the cursor for my stylus I should be able to write whatever I want so for example I can go ahead and write my own name or write the engineering educator academy or something but use the stylus right so I can go ahead and uh, here let's say I write some E now another important thing you have to pay attention to is don't get disappointed if you draw something and then all of a sudden it is converted to something that is not exactly like what you want here you have two options let me show you and these two guys are going to convert your uh, strokes of the stylus into what into the nearest recognizable sketch entities okay so here this one the software analyzes yours and here if you look basically it is going to use it with the closest thing you have to any of these guys so sometimes that happens and instead of you get something like a spill line you might get a three-point arc or something and that might happen and if you turn them off then you are not going to get any sketch entity so let's say here if I use the eraser and I clean it up and then I use the stylus and draw something again now look this is not really going to be a sketch entity so let's say here I um, draw the E and then if I want to get out here right you see look at what it is now the question is can I extrude this and the answer is no okay you see that's not a real sketch because those things are those black lines were not a sketch entities so what you need to do is to make sure that uh, these guys are activated so whatever you draw is converted to a sketch entity and you end up with a real sketch okay so here I activate the second one which is uh, used by the software and uh, again I use my stylus and I'll try to go a little bit slower sometimes this happens so maybe I go a little bit uh, yeah let me draw a whole thing here see if it does it you see there we go and then let's see if it accept this one from me not really so be patient with it it's not perfect there we go now if you want to improve your experience with drawing SP lines and being interpreted as only SP lines not something else and have to redo it like I did you can turn also this guy on which is auto SP line and it tries to only uh, interpret your strokes of the stylus as SP lines so turn that one on as well and now hopefully you don't need to repeat everything several times so let's say here you see it is accepted and then I draw another one hopefully this one is accepted too you see EE -E. and then here I'll try to draw A and uh, let's say this is another one and then uh, here is uh, one more Okay, there we go. You see, so I could write EEA, Engineering Educator Academy. And now I can get out, and this is real sketch entity. And now I can go and what? 
just extrude it there we go and you can make your own organic shape okay so this is this uh, sketch ink that is doable and you can never do it with the text command in the sketch now a couple of other interesting things that uh, i want to uh, share with you about this environment so other than drawing changing color or eraser which you can erase something right and these guys that are interpreting something so let's see here right you see i can clean up something like that one of the things you can do is this ruler and then underneath the ruler you have protractor and these are for drawing straight lines and perfect arcs on the monitor with your stylus which you can never get really if you don't use these tools okay so you can activate one of these and get those uh, perfect lines or uh, arcs okay so here is an example of the ruler so here i click on the ruler it brings the ruler and i can move it around right with uh, my uh, mouse put it wherever i want and then all i need you know, look here if i draw somewhere else you see i can never get it a perfect line now it might interpret it as a perfect line or it might interpret it if i do it bad as a spill line but if i move my mouse close to the edge of this ruler look you see it does a perfect line right and similarly if i go with the protractor which again you can move right and put it wherever you want then if i move look here it might never be a perfect arc although it might interpret it right again depend on how good i do it but if I do it right here, you see, I can go and it allows me to go for as much angle as what I want, as many degrees as I want. Okay, so these are some extra tools that can help you basically uh, draw straight lines and curves if you have to. Although the whole goal here is to go with uh, arbitrary shapes and get it close to organic shapes. So uh, hopefully this... Uh, tutorial short tutorial on the uh, sketch ink was useful to you in solidworks and i'll see you in my next video thank you